free, man. Drop a like in the next five seconds or you will never shoot a green in NBA 2K23 again, man. I wouldn't risk it. All right now, man, what's good with your boys? You drop the like on the video, right? <laughs> right. Now, I know a lot of y'all boys is reading the title of this video and you like, well, man, what are you talking about? A lot of you boys hop on this 6-1 build and don't really know how to use it at all. I've been reading my comments a lot, you know what I'm saying? So this is why I'm making this video for y'all boys. But y'all make my 6-1 build and try to do the complete opposite with what I told y'all and what I'm showing y'all boys the build is really supposed to do. I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all just, just managed to do it. So it just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But look, in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys how to use the 6-1 build the proper way. So y'all boys already know what to do, man. Drop a like on this video. If it's your first time here, man, the most you can do is hit that subscribe button for your boy. Man, when that grind to 51k, hit that bell, man. And leave your boy Mary a comment. I love reading y'all boys' comments while I'm chilling. But without further ado, man, let's get right into this video. All right, y'all boys, man. This is gonna be y'all first time ever seeing me play on the two v two court. You know, I say y'all know I actually hate the two v two court, man. I do not like playing on this court at all. And definitely on my 6-1 guards, you know what I'm saying, for me. But today, I'm going to actually do it just to show y'all boys. I know what I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these 6-1 guards. Now, definitely, y'all boys be hopping on me about the 6-1 guys. They don't have defense. This down the third, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? Y'all want to be using them on the 2v2 court, you know what I'm saying? So I'm right here showing y'all boys that you can use this build on the 2v2 court. My 6-1 guard, you can use on the 2v2 court. It just matters on how you play the game and like what you do on the court and things like that, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? Because we about to go absolutely stupid and dumb on this court. And mind you, me and my boy Money ran up like a nice little 10 game to 7 game streak on this court. I don't remember. I know we ran up a uh, streak though, you know what I'm saying, for me? And this just basically on my 6-1 guard, you know what I'm saying? We played defense and all that i was playing defense on it and everything you know what i'm saying for me see me pull up right here first shot man big gucci green man you know what i'm saying you already know that's going down man dropping you for me y'all want the jump shot too i dropped it the other day hold on pull up one more time big gucci green man you know what i'm saying for me you want the jumper man i posted it the other day you know what i'm saying just look how i'm playing behind the screen now you know what i'm saying look y'all know me for ice on a lot i don't really play behind the screen but i can't play behind the screen man big Gucci greens, man. Like I said, y'all know me for ISO. I don't really play behind the screen, you know what I'm saying? For me, but I can still play behind the screen. Don't get it twisted. And I love playing behind the screen, you know what I'm saying? Messing these boys' heads up, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Oh my god, chicken, you feel me? Just look at the movement, bro. I'm telling y'all, boys, I'm not like I'm really him when it comes to it, bro. I'm really him, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm really him when it comes to it, bro. When I gotta like lock in, you know what I'm saying? For me, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna put up in his mouth for the one time. I'm gonna go and put up in his mouth for the one time. Big. Gucci greens, bro. Come on. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm t listen. So just pay attention to how your boy Mary's playing. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? If, if you're going to play twos with this guard, pay attention to how I'm playing and play like this. You know what I'm saying? For me, at least, like, don't be like trying to. Hold on. I'm putting something in his mouth, though. Green. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? For me, when you're playing on the twos court on the six one guard, bro, you don't want to give up the ball. You know what I'm saying? For me, if speed is at your advantage playing against anybody in this game because you're the shortest. You could be in this game, so you're going to be the fastest you could be in this game. So speed is your advantage in this game. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I just see I didn't really run run this game. I shot nothing but threes this whole entire game. So y'all can't say I run run. You know, no, no, no. I shot threes this whole entire game. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's on how you know. It's, it's like basically you got to know how to dribble, shoot. Like you got to know how to use the six one guard before, like all that. You know what I'm saying? So let's get all that out of the way. You got to know how to use the six one guard. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a six one guard, you get what I'm saying? If you don't get what I'm saying. Hey, oh, oh, oh. But other people get what I'm saying. But listen, that's how I'm running to the next game. Now we are playing the court that I love to play, the 3v3 court. Now, if y'all boys know, man, this is where I literally go the most crazier at on my 6-1 build. This is what I really made it for. I didn't really make it for the twos court, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, who wants to play twos all damn day, you know what I'm saying? Big go to game, man, you know what I'm saying, for the first shot. But I ain't gonna lie, a lot of boys, a lot of people do like playing threes, I mean, a 2v2 court, you know what I'm saying? But my 6-1 guard, I really made for that, you know what I'm saying, for me, but... It is, but it isn't, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? So, when I see y'all boys be common, like, yo, man, I can't play twos on this build, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? I direct y'all to, like, my 6 and my 6-7, but y'all want to play on, like, a shorter guard. Let me put another big Gucci green, man, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? I direct y'all to that, but y'all want to use my 6-1 guard on that court. What you can't let y'all boys just see me go crazy. Pull up for the one time again. Big 
Gucci, Green, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you play. You know what I say? As y'all boys know, I play, like, when I play, I play the score. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all always be playing to be fancy, get clips, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a time and a place for that. You know what I'm saying? From when you play this game, you know what I'm saying? Definitely on the 6 one guard. You're already at a disadvantage because you're short. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not on the 2 score, you're at a disadvantage once again because you're short. And everybody on the court is taller than you. And they have strength over you. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? They have defense over you. So you lose the ball. And GG's, you know what I'm saying? But the thing that you have over all of them is speed. Your speed is your best friend when you're on this build. You know what I'm saying? So I use my speed to my advantage. I can beat you anywhere on the court. Wait for it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Let me pull up once again. Hold on. Big Gucci Green, man. You know what I'm saying? For me, I be trying to tell my teammates sometimes, like, bro, I got you. I can pick up. I can head. I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm fast enough to do all these things. You know what I'm saying? See, I be everybody at the court, man. Big Gucci Green, man. Like, I'm fast enough to do all these things, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Trust your boy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't be trying to trust me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, no, you can't get there fast enough, bro. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you, son. How can I not get there and I'm faster than you? Like, I'm faster than you. Like, come on, let's be honest, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? But as y'all boys see, just look how I'm playing on the threes court, you know what I'm saying? And then look how I'm playing on a uh, 2v2 court, you know what I'm saying? So you play the game, big, Gucci green. Just pay attention how I'm playing, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? It's two different play styles, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? Because, I, like, the, the both of the courts are different. So just pay attention on how I'm playing and just replicate on how I'm playing, you know what I'm saying, on the, when you're playing, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? It's just, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not dumb, you, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? But that's the game right there, you know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know anything about this build or anything, about my gym moves and my jump shot you know what i'm saying this part of the video is for you man i'm gonna show you boys how to make the build i'm gonna show you my jump shot and all my animation my gym moves and some tips and tricks that you should use you know what i'm saying for me so once you make this build you can play just like me on a 2v2 court or even on a 3v3 court you know what i'm saying and even on a 5v5 court if you want to you know what i'm saying so listen let's hop right into that right now man gang for this part of the video, this is for my new subscriber that don't even know nothing about this build. I'm gonna show y'all boys how to make the build, the badges, and things like that. Look, y'all boys already know we're gonna go ahead and make this build a rebirth build. You boys don't know how to get the rebirth. Basically, all you gotta do is max out one of your builds to 90 overall, which you should already have, and then you will have the rebirth unlocked. So y'all already know we're starting up with the point guard position. I like to shoot with the right-handed player, but you know what I'm saying? You shoot left-handed, go ahead. But in my preference, I like the right-handed shooter. And you can pick any jersey number you want. Now for the height of this this build is in the title, man. We're gonna go with the six one. You know what I'm saying? Now I heard a lot of people ask me to make a guard that is six foot and like six, like five eleven. You know what I'm saying? That's the lowest I will go with these uh short guards. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go no lower because at that point you just make it to where you cannot dunk the ball at all. You know what I'm saying? So six one and six foot is leading the sweet spot. And probably five eleven is the six sweet spot. But we're gonna go with the six one. Right? The way it is, we're gonna go lowest weight, man, because we're just here to dribble the ball and shoot the ball, and that's it. Just score the ball on offense. We're not here to play no defense on this build or nothing like that, man. Let me just get that through y'all heads right now, man. We're not here to play no defense on this. Build. Build. We're only here to shoot the ball and play, make, and finish. That's it. So, therefore, we're just an offense of threat. We're an offensive threat and we're a defensive liability. Well, not really, but we are. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. And for the wingspan, we're going to go six foot three. I'm going to show y'all boys why we want six foot three and not minimum wingspan. And for the body shape, we're going to go with the slight body shape. Now, you can pick anything you want, but I like the slight body shape. Now, starting off with our finishing, the only thing we're going to upgrade here is our driving duck, and we're going to go ahead and max that out. And the only reason why we're maxing that out in this 2K is to get limitless takeoff on goal. This badge is really overpowered, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to really explain this to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a couple guard builds with literally silver and bronze limitless takeoff. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And listen, bro. I know you're going through hell because this badge makes it easier for your six one guard to get up and dunk the ball over any defender, like over any defender. You're gonna, leave. You're gonna dunk on centers, you're gonna dunk on lockdowns, you're gonna dunk on the other guards, man. Anybody that's in that paint, if you get the limitless takeoff badge to activate, you're gonna dunk on them nine times out of ten. And now for the posterizer badge, you already know what this badge is here for and what it's made to do. This badge is made for you to dunk on people, but like it gives you a little boost to jump and dunk on your defender, literally. Like that's what this badge is here. For. So pairing these two badges with each other, you know what I'm saying? It's overpowered on this build, you know what I'm saying? For me, it just wreaks disaster for anybody that's guard. And pair with your slipper and your giant slayer, you know what I'm saying? Your acrobat. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you got a good build here with finishing. I ain't gonna lie. Now coming down to the shooting, we're gonna go ahead and max out our three ball to the 96. Maxing our three ball out to a 96 gets us a lot of Hall of Fame shooting badges. But the only reason why we pit it to 96 is to go ahead and get agent threes on Hall of Fame. This badge right here will make your life a little bit more easier around a three-point line. Basically, what I'm saying is this badge is a cheat code to pull in greens on a 6-1 guard. And the badge does work on gold and like silver and things like that. 
But Hall of Fame is literally a Chico. Y'all boys rarely see me miss a shot that comes out my hands. Like, if I'm shooting with this badge on Hall of Fame, I'm rarely missing. Like, oh God, like I'm rarely missing. And the only way to get this badge on Hall of Fame is to have a 96 three ball. Other than that, man, we get all these other Hall of Fame shooting badges that work crazy too, you know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? Having a 96 three ball is literally good. I'm not gonna lie, it's good. Coming down to our ball control, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go ahead and pin our ball control to a 90. Five. What the 95 ball control does for us is unlock us unpluckable on Hall of Fame. Now, a lot of guard builds to this day still don't have unpluckable on Hall of Fame, and they're going through it. Like, I mean, they're going through it. They're going through it by getting plucked a lot. And as y'all boys see too, man, we go ahead and get our handles for days on gold too as well. Now, I remember at the beginning of the year, man, people told us silver badges were going to be good, and silver badges are good. But certain silver badges like handles for days, it's not. It's, it's literally terrible. So you want to have handles for days on at least gold on any build that you could possibly probably make you know what I'm saying unless if you can't get it silver is going to work good for it but if you can get gold handles for days pitch in for it bro you're, you're, you're going to love it coming up to our pass head we're going to go ahead and put this to a 70 and we're going to go ahead and leave our speed with ball at an 80 coming right down to our physical we're going to go ahead and put our acceleration to a 94 we're going to go ahead and put our stamina to a 95 we're going to go ahead and put our speed to a 90 and come right up to our pass accuracy and put the rest of the points on our pass accuracy which is going to give us a 76 all right now as y'all boys can see See, man, and say we are at 98 overall and we can't upgrade nothing else so to make this go to 99 overall all you want to do is come down to your three pointer and hold r2 and try to upgrade it it's going to strictly upgrade itself and give you an extra finishing badge i don't know why it does that i don't know why it glitches out like that but it does that and coming over to the takeover if you unlock on this build is shot creating sharpshooting and playmate now for the takeover you're going to have for right now is shot creating and sharpshooting now if you boys didn't know there's a takeover glitch in this game that we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get slashing and we're going to have sharpshooting takeover so we're going to have slashing and sharpshooting takeover on this build and as y'all boys can see man we have the new 6-1 demigod iso build this build is going to get you a lot of rep grinding in season 7. Don't worry, bro. I didn't forget. I'm going to show you boys how to run the badges. This is how you run your finish hit badges. We got Acrobat. We got Giant Sir. We got Limitless Takeoff. We got Slippery. We got Posterizer. And we got Fearless Finisher. This is how you run your shooting badges. We got Agent Threes. We got Green Machine. We got Volume Shooter. We got Amped. We got Blinders. We got Dead Eye. And we got Limitless Range. Now, if your boys ask me, my 6-1 shot creator has 33 shooting badges. And all these I have 33 is because I put all my extra badges on my shooting. So, if you want to do the same thing I did, put your extra badges on your shooting and you're going to have a lot of fun. For playmaking, I got Clint Break on Silver, Handles for Days on Gold, we got Quick First Step on Hall of Fame, Bailout is on bronze, hyperdrive is on bronze, killer combos is on bronze, and unpluckable is on gold. Now you're gonna have to put extra badges on here to go ahead and get unpluckable on Hall of Fame, but it's only three extra badges you gotta put on here. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And I do recommend probably hyperdrive on silver, and I definitely do recommend clamp breaker being on gold. So you might gotta put a couple extra badges on here, but not that many. And this is how you run your defensive badges if you even get them. Alright, now it's time to update y'all boys on the dribble moves that I use. For the dribble style, man, I'm using my Jordan. This has been the same since the game came out. For the signature size up I'm using, I'm using Steve Francis, but you can also use Trey Young. For the size up escape package, this is our preference. You can use Stephen Curry or you can use Trey Young. But I'm liking the Stephen Curry ones because I like to do the uh, Stephen Curry crossover, the, uh, the Curry slide. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I like to do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? I like to turn it into different moves and things like that. So that's why I use this one. For the movement crossover, I like Trey Young. I like it hands down the best. You know what I'm saying? This is just based off preference, though. For the moon behind the back, I like James Harden. But a lot of people do use Allen Iverson. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? It's it's our preference again. You know what I'm saying? But I like James Harden. For the moving spin, I'm using basic to get the glitchy spin. For the moving hesitation, I'm using Kyrie Irving. For the moving step back, I'm using normal. And that's how I do the Asta sliding and things like that. For the triple threat style, I'm using Michael Jordan. And for my flashy pass, I'm using no look pass. Now for the jumper I'm using, man, we got Kevin Porter Jr. base, Oscar Robertson upper release win, and Kyrie upper release too. For the blending on this, we're using 60, 40, 60 to Kyrie, 40 to Oscar Robertson. And we are using max speed. And also not to mention that I shoot on early jump shot time and release. Early. I use early. Not very early. I use early. Here goes my controller setting just to show y'all boys. Man, I got my shot meter off. I shoot on early. This is the meter that I have on right now. My pro stick function is off. My pro stick orientation is absolute. Off ball offense mode is on absolute. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And I got my pro stick passing type to normal. Uh, skip passes on enable. Icon passing is default. 
You know what I'm saying? For me, this is just all my settings right here, man. Who the guard is off too as well. So if y'all want like to copy this or anything like this, these are my settings that I use on my controller when I'm playing the game. Listen, man, I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video, man. Thank y'all boys for 50,000 subscribers. I love and appreciate every last one of y'all boys, man. You know what I'm saying? Until the next banger video, I'll be your boy Mirski. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me, hit that bell, turn on all post notifications. Y'all boys be safe. Have a nice rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.